It was the kind of day when Sis wouldn't eat her vegetables again. And that made my face turn redder than just the kind of beets she wouldn't eat. A little redder, maybe. More like a rich magenta, but a little less plum-like. You know what I mean. My name is Pumpkin. Pumpkin ravioli. So anyways, I was sitting around thinking about whether those plates you see in restaurants are really as clean as you think they are when I heard her crying in the bookstore. Nobody cares about me. Everyone only cares about my sister. Why is she the one that daddy likes to hug and kiss? Why is she the one that he likes to see in a bikini and fishnets? Why is she? <laughs> if I had a Susan B. Anthony for every time I had to hear some, Nobody loves me, I'm going to drink a ball of cyanide complaint. I'd be able to buy my own year supply the morning after pill. But I was free that afternoon, so I thought I'd drop by and see what was going on. Can I help you? I just don't know why nobody ever notices me. I have this dream where I'm constantly screaming and no one could hear me. Do you have any books that can help me? Sure. We have this book, Healing Your Self-Esteem Through Shopping and Cooking Vegetables on Your Stove. Oh, hi, I'm Megan. Uh, hi, I'm Jane. You look familiar. I just have that kind of face. What kind of face? The kind you think looks familiar. Oh. And this one, Why Am I Such a Loser? Hey, this might help. I'm not quite so fat as these jeans make me look like I am. You're so helpful. Do you need to talk? Yeah, it's my sister. She's this weird, compulsive liar. That must be very difficult for you. He's always on my case about eating my vegetables. Well, you should eat your vegetables. Maybe your sister knows some important things about you. My dad told me that if mom were still alive, she'd make us clean everything off our plates. Because kids who didn't would turn out annoying and retarded. That's really messed up. I don't think we have a book for that. And I don't want to end up like that. But if, if only my sister would stop pretending to be someone she's not and just be my sister. What kinds of things does she pretend to be? Everything. Bus driver, school teacher. Oh, and there was that one time where she was a taxi driver and a pizza delivery woman. And now, a bookstore clerk. Come on, Kelly. I know it's you. Just be honest for once. You're my sister. You don't work here. What makes you say that? Where's the history section? Where's the fiction? Self-help? This is the self-help section. What are you hiding from? Well, if you must know, my weird coworker Pumpkin, she's always reading my emails at work and eavesdropping on my phone calls. She's been stalking me for five years now. She knows our entire family history. And I'm just afraid that she's gonna do a better job at convincing you to eat your vegetables than me. You know, I just got the most interesting email and said that if you eat a bag of vegetables and send the wrapper to five friends, Bill Gates himself will send you $5,000. Oh my God, really? Bill Gates will send me $5,000 if I eat my vegetables. Wow, Kelly, Pumpkin has just totally convinced me to eat my greens. 
I'm actually really glad that she's been stalking you and following up on my eating habits all these years. You're a really stinky sister, Kelly. But, but Megan... No, really. I really wish Pumpkin was my sister instead of you. My name's Jane, miss, and I've never seen you before in my life. Camino 